We have visible confirmation. It's enormous. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superheroes you forgot were awesome. Let me guess, you're the overachiever who cooked up that tidal wave. For this list, we'll be looking at heroes you may have heard of, but who have been either underrated or badly adapted for too long and deserve a second chance. Who's your hero? If you have a champion you think could use a little more time in the spotlight, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Daredevil Daredevil's doing a lot better than many of the characters on this list. At least he had a Netflix show, right? But things have slowed down for the Devil of Hell's Kitchen ever since then, and that's kind of a shame. I am the enemy of the hand. Daredevil is one of the more grounded heroes in the Marvel Universe, with no superhuman powers outside of his 360-degree radar sense and tricked-out cane. As a result, we seldom get to see him take on any real supervillains and adaptations. In the comics, however, it's a whole different story. Being a perennial underdog in a world full of superhumans means he has to get creative against vastly more powerful enemies, which creates a special type of tension. You're done, Nobu. Number 9. The Human Torch They call me the Human Torch? Ladies call me Torch. Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby in 1961, the Fantastic Four changed superhero comics forever, introducing fallible heroes with realistic faults. But Marvel's first family hasn't had much time in the spotlight lately. That includes their hot-headed youngest member. Johnny Storm can ignite himself into a being of living fire. In the old days, he hung out with Spider-Man and Iceman, played pranks on The Thing, and helped his teammates wipe out the biggest villains in Marvel history. Does the name Galactus ring a bell? But after some lame movie adaptations and Marvel's feud with Fox, the FF have been out of the spotlight for a while. Now, Disney has the rights, though, so maybe it's time for a comeback. I knew it was too boring to last. Looks like some yahoos breaking and entering at our place. <laughs> Little action should do me some good. Number 8. Moon Knight Here's your chance to get on the Moon Knight bandwagon before it becomes fashionable. The moon will not tolerate your interference. This little-known superhero is scheduled to have his own MCU movie. In a lot of ways, Moon Knight is Marvel's answer to Batman. He stalks the knight in a cape and cowl, throws themed boomerangs at his enemies, and has a whole arsenal of crazy gadgets. He also has a whole other arsenal of just plain crazy. Because unlike Batman, Moon Knight isn't a billionaire. He's a debatably unstable ex-mercenary with multiple personalities serving an Egyptian god who may or may not be a figment of his imagination. Also, unlike Batman, he dresses in all white because in the dead of night, he wants his enemies to see him coming. I'm sorry, my master. Your avatar of the night has failed. Number 7. Storm You didn't forget about Storm, did you? I have faith in you. With her mastery over weather, she's got control over heat, cold, wind, rain, and lightning which makes her easily a match for any two of the other X-Men all by herself. What are eye lasers or wings compared to the ability to brew your own homemade hurricane? Kind of makes you wonder why she's treated like such a minor character in most of the X-Men movies, when the comics have her growing up as a goddess, going on to lead the X-Men, and then marrying and divorcing the Black Panther. Maybe a character with all that going on, plus enough power to literally rival Thor, deserves some more screen time. I command the Sahara winds! Transform this ice to steam! Number 6. Green Lantern Kid, you just earned your stripes. From Hal Jordan's hotshot stubbornness to Jon Stewart's stalwart leadership, the Green Lanterns are more than a single superhero. They're a whole interplanetary army tasked with keeping order and protecting citizens across the universe. Their solo stories switch back and forth from superpowered space cop procedurals to cosmic warfare on a grand scale. 
Their power rings give them the power to literally create anything they can imagine, and their membership includes species from talking squirrels to living planets. All of which makes it hugely disappointing that their one mainstream live-action adaptation was this. Ryan Reynolds may have since moved on to better things, but we're still waiting on a redemption for the Green Lancer name. What we say on Earth, we say, I'm only human. Number 5. Blade Take me to it, and I'll consider you a loose end. A lot of people don't even realize that Wesley Snipes' kickboxing, vampire-slaying daywalker is based on a comic book character, but Blade is a hidden gem out of Marvel's schlocky 70s era. The original version of Blade sported an afro, some yellow shades, and all the cool parts of being a vampire without any of that troublesome daylight allergy. And while the powers made it through to the movie adaptation, his original outfit did it. Nor did his trademark English accent. But who knows, now that Marvel has announced a reboot of the Blade franchise, there's no telling what aspects of the character might make a comeback. Give my regards to Frost. Number 4. Spawn For a while, back there in the 90s, everyone was talking about Spawn. Stay back! You don't want to do that. We're not sure whether it was the billowy cape, the mask that made him look like Venom's badass older brother, or the backstory so edgy you could cut your finger on it. But something about this ex-CIA assassin who comes back from hell and kills criminals to feed their souls to his living suit seems to have made him the exact anti-hero that the gritty dark age of comics deserved. He's still showing up in Image Comics today, although you don't see nearly as many dorm room posters of him anymore. Is the age of the grim dark anti-hero over, or is Spawn due for a comeback? Not a healthy idea. Number 3. Silver Surfer To me, my boy. Galactus is a villain so massive that he literally eats entire planets, killing billions in the process. His herald may be a lot smaller, but he's still an impressive character. The metallic skinned Norin Rad, awesome name, lived out one of comics' greatest redemption arcs when he went from finding tasty planets for Galactus' brunch stops to helping the Marvel heroes kick his boss's cosmic purple keister. And once he was done with that, he went on to become one of Marvel's top tier powerhouse heroes. Turns out even a tiny fraction of Galactus' power is enough to let the surfer take on the Hulk without breaking a sweat. There's always a choice. Not always. Number 2. Nightcrawler So here's a terrifying fact. Do you know how Nightcrawler's teleportation power works? Well, when he disappears in a puff of blue smoke and then reappears somewhere else, he's actually traveling through hell. I don't think I can ever teleport again. It gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Or at least the hellish brimstone dimension. After doing that for years, he went on to become a Catholic priest. Yep, he's a lot more complex than you might expect. Like a lot of X-Men, Nightcrawler has taken an unfortunate back seat in the comics as long as Fox owns the movie rights. But now that Disney has them, we can't wait for him to show up again on the big screen. Can you hear what they're saying? I could take a closer look. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze was just an ordinary motorcycle stuntman when he struck a deal with the devil to save his foster father's life and ended up punishing sinners as the spirit of vengeance. The only way to ruin a setup that metal would be turning it into a cheesy movie starring Nicolas Cage, which is exactly what happened. Twice! It's a huge shame, because there have to be any number of awesome stories you can tell with a character who can reduce enemies to a blubbering pile of remorse just with eye contact. You're pissing me off. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.